All right, here we are with part two of our video, the easiest journal to make and a happy mail gift idea. So I wanted to show you the final walkthrough of flip through of the whole thing. So we made a hidden paper clip and I'll show you how I did that. And now I've already attached an eyelet and some sorry silk here for the closure. So then the flap that you saw me making yesterday opens up and now let me show you what I added inside. So this can go inside or it can go on the outside like I had it. So I thought that would just be a nice cute little introduction saying you are amazing. Now inside I have the little um, sari silk attached to the paper clip. The paper clip has been glued into the back of this paper and this is just uh, tri-folded. Then I made a cute little uh, place to jot down little notes, numbers, ideas, whatever that they want to do here, and just stapled in two pieces of paper in the cardstock. Tips right here has a little tab so that it can be pulled out. And then I have a cute little journal card here that I stamped and inked joy on that one. So front and back, they can write on here. So this is a pocket and this is a pocket, but I decided I'd put it in this front pocket. And then I made a little <coughs> flip up journaling spot so there can be journal here, stamped friend and the definition of friend, and then they can write here. So there's secret journaling that can go here. And this I've actually glued into the front of this pocket. So it stays there permanently. Then another little cute little journaling card here which I put grateful, and then another <clears throat> little writing tablet. So I stapled four pieces of paper and the card stock. You saw me do this yesterday. So that uh, EK Success long arm stapler can only go through five pieces of paper. So uh, card stock and paper. So this is one piece of card stock and four pieces of paper. Okay, so then that is going into this back pocket here. <clears throat> And then this flips in here, and then this is here, and then now the hidden paper clip could also go right here on this little pocket here. So wherever you want to put it, and however you want to embellish yours. And then I have a cute little journal I made here. So again, just this I st stitched on the sewing machine. So if you want to go back and watch part one, this is part two, the finale. Two part, two part uh, section, not, not any more will be coming after this. And again, the same thing. So this was the double-sided paper from that Fruit Paradise paper pack that I showed you in video one. You can go back and watch that and you'll find out um, where you can purchase that on, I picked mine up from scrapbook.com, but you can purchase yours wherever you find it. <clears throat> okay, then wrap it around. And this just slides down in here. And then there's your nice little closure. Isn't that pretty? So I've already been playing around, making some more. So I thought we would do another one and I would show you the hidden paper clip idea again. So I thought we would use this pretty paper and um, match it up or go, actually, let me see, did I have the C pad? Yes, I do. Okay, so this is Golden Coast from Prima again. And apparently I must like the Prima line because it seems like I do buy quite a few of their paper packs. So these are my little gratitude journals that I make. They're available in my Etsy shop. And then I just add a, a embellishment of gratitude and usually I will put uh, a scallop and then the gratitude and then um, a butterfly or something. But since this is a beach related I live in Florida, so um, I'm near the beach. But anyway, uh, if you love the beach, no matter where you live, you would, you would like this design. I'm just showing you this. I'm not putting this purple one on there. I will stamp out from the design and um, use something else. So I was thinking, since this has shells and the seahorse, so I'm going to go through the paper pack and see if there was a one that had where I could cut out the shell 
and if it was large enough and then I will use that as the background and then put the gratitude sentiment on the front. Let's see. Okay, so this beautiful shell here, I could cut this out, fussy cut it, but then see you would cover up all that beauty. Oh, I love the, I love this um, life preserver here. Oh, this is cute. And then this whole cute little embellishment part there, that would be cute. If I cut out the circle somehow, I don't know, I'm thinking... You always, you always think when you see things like this, you know, I'm thinking, okay, if I could put a slit here, fussy cut it out, and then this went into the life preserver somehow. Anyway, I'm just, just thinking out loud right now. The crab. This is like from Key West, kind of a, uh, I, you know, scene. If you're very familiar with the keys, then you'll know. I love this. Uh, no, no, this isn't coral. What would this be? considered, um, that could be coral, but the pink is throwing me, it's not, it's not, what is that, I'm thinking algae, is it algae, maybe that's what it is, anyway, uh, but that would be pretty, so anyway, so I'm going to have to look through here and see if I can find something, hopefully something will come out at me, I, well, I made these before and I will have to look back and my shop and see what did I use when I put this on there. Okay, so here's the crab here. So I could put this here, so I could take the crab and let's see how big that's so that's too big for the cover. Okay, so this is why it has to be just something that will fit onto this. This is the closure, this slides on and off. And then you open it up and then you have the little notepad on the inside. So this is what I this is what I make. This is how I make them. And they're available in my Etsy shop, like I said. But they're fun and easy to make, so you could make one too. All right, so if we look on the back, okay, now this little motif here, possibly, again, too bad they didn't have where I could just have the life ring without all the other with it. Because I want to keep it all beachy, you know. I don't want roses... R roses on the beach is just not the right thing, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's look. I could, maybe I could do this and just off-center it, put it here, and then just put the gratitude grateful on top of it. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. So, moving on. The next thing, okay, so we're going to make another one of these. So I thought I would just do it in this beautiful, beachy theme that I have here and so when you open it up and then you close it so the print is going in the right direction here and here so this is what's the main important part the inside it's okay the map this is upside down it doesn't matter okay these little flaps get glued into place and then we glue this part here together so if you remember we did that and then um, so let me open these up So we want the tape, and I'm going to use the same exact tape. It's this shell tape. I'm going to use my glue stick because that worked perfectly. Did I add glue on the other one? I'm trying to think. Did I use just the glue stick, or did I come back in with the? Um, seems like I only used the glue stick. So let's just let's just do that. Okay, so I put my wax paper because I don't want to glue my paper pad, and we're only going to use. You want to use the wide part of the tape, you know, you want to put half, so we're going to come around here, and we're just going to put the tape right there, where I put the glue, come down a little bit more, and trim that off. <laughs> Sticking to my wax paper. Okay, and then now this will fold down here, and then this will go here. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's come over here, and we're going to do the same thing. And add a little bit of glue. All right. And 
And if you head over to my Instagram, which I think I have it linked below, if not, I will make sure I do, then you can follow me there and you'll find out some other things that is going on and maybe get some good ideas that could help you. So I'm doing really well with my daily text challenge. I'm really enjoying that. So you'll get to see all the updates over there. That's where I'm putting all the updates. <clears throat> I started it here on my channel, but then I'm putting all the updates over there. Now we just want to add glue to here. And oh, you know what? Did I? Yeah, yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, the sun was coming in the window here in Florida. And I had this sitting you know, like this in my jar, upside down, like I usually do. And I took the cap off. <laughs> and it was like a volcano eruption. I had glue everywhere. And it wouldn't stop. It was just, I mean, it was just kept coming and coming and coming. It was so funny. It was, it was hysterical. So I was just like, I wish I could have recorded that. You would have loved it. So it was, it was truly, it was like, <laughs> I said, so what did we learn? I said, this is one of those things you want to I post in the Facebook group. You'll see that in the link below, too. And um, <clears throat> the description below. So it's like, what not to do? Do not leave your tacky glue upside down in front of a window where the sun is coming in and it heats it up and it makes pressure. So apparently the heat, I mean, it's done that to me a few times, but not, I mean, this was truly, I mean, it just would not stop coming out. <laughs> oh, it was too funny. I said, man, just when I don't have it on the recording, it would have been too, too cool. Oh, so, you know, too bad. But anyway, it was funny. I just had to share that with you. All right, I don't have my paper towel, so I'm just using my finger. The one thing I've noticed with this, this is a really, really, really good heavy-duty card stock. So you do need your a good adhesive. And the reason why I'm only gluing the one side, because I'm just thinking, you know, I might add, I have some cute little um, tags that I could uh, add into... the wax paper. I don't want it to get on the underneath here. So, like, where are they? Let me find one. Okay, so here we go. So see, this is perfect size. Try to fit right in here. And see how that's lifting up already because I'm trying to... All right. So this, and it takes a few, you know, about a minute, a good minute to really adhere and to grab on, so... You don't want to start putting things in there or putting any pressure. It's going to lift it up because it will lift up. So just keep that in mind when you're working with this Prima cardstock that it is really good stuff. And so you want to make sure that you give it time to set up. Okay, so here, yeah, see now here, this has had plenty of time, so it's not trying to lift up. But you want to make sure you want to wait, give it, you know, I would give it a good hour before you start trying to put things in there because it's going to, you know, puts pressure and is trying to lift it up. <clears throat> but I just want to show you this. Okay, so and then here, you know, we cover that up. So I was looking at this sentiment. So let's go back in here. I think I have one peeled out. Okay. <clears throat> I have two actually. Now, so we could take one of these, cut these out, and let's see if they fit. Um, and, you know, since they're already has nice cute little sayings or cute little scenes. I'm just I'm just wanting to see if and I might possibly, you know, need to trim it down, but that's okay too. And we're gonna make the pockets out of this. So I wanted to show you using up the actual when you get the 12 by 12 paper packs, uh, especially these nice ones, you'll find that they come with these wonderful little sentiments. <clears throat> so let's I like this one here, find me under the palms. Let's trim it. Okay, and let's see. All right, so that one, let's see if it's already, it just, I mean, it just, <laughs> it just makes it perfect. 
summer essentials. I don't really, I don't like this. It's just not, not talking to me there. Paradise found. I like that. So let's see if we can trim that. So just that quick and easy now. I've had been able to add two pockets. Same thing, so we know it's going to fit here. And see, look, it just I can actually I can line it up with this edge, line this up with this edge, and it leaves plenty of room for the fold in the middle, so it's not going to impede the folding. <clears throat> And I'm looking at that about rounding the corners. So let's go ahead. We always round the corners, so might as well. Might as well. All right, so I'm just going to pop this on real quick, and then we'll do the hidden paper clip. Don't worry. Okay, so let's do the Paradise Found first. I like that one on that side. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? I don't know. Somehow I'm liking it this way. Okay, so, and again, this is going to just be two single pockets, so I don't need to take them over to the sewing machine. And, but before we do that, let's ink it up. Let's go ahead and let's ink it up. It does need a little bit of added interest. So I'm using the Vintage Photo, and this is the Ranger brand. Okay, so just a little dab of that, little dab of that, and just go around the edge, and then we will pop those into place with a little bit of glue. Yeah, see, it just takes that starkness, you know white starkness away. Here a little bit more. And it kind of adds in that beachy, sandy feel as well. So, accomplishes two things. Whatever you like, whatever colors you like, these are just the colors that I picked out. Um, I only have two of the large ink pads, and um, then I bought this set of little ones off of, uh, actually, I think I bought them. I don't know if I got any off of scrapbook.com. I may have. And then I had the opportunity to get a discontinued set from, I think it was Home Shopping. I know, anyway, either way, I got it from one place or the other. Oh, yes, and I wanted to tell you, next week, March 2nd, I believe it's Tuesday, yes, it's always Tuesday, is their Home Shopping Network Craft Day, and Anna Griffin has a whole new line coming out, and there's going to be new things from uh, Cricut as well that she's introducing. So if you follow her, I follow her on her blog, and I follow her on her Instagram. <laughs> I love her products, and there's one particular thing that she's coming back with, and it's that iris fold paper, you know, method. And once I get that set, then we'll be doing that here on the my channel. It's absolutely beautiful. So, and I'm looking forward to that. I am definitely going to pick that up, because it ha it's a template set. So once you have... The template, the pattern, and I think there's probably a pattern I could get it off of online. But anyway, I like I like her stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and, and purchase that. And um, then we'll do it together, and I'll show you why it's so cool. It's just absolutely the coolest thing. So I will be definitely incorporating that into my junk journaling. Card making, happy mailing, the whole nine yards as you know everything i do is either junk journals happy mail or card making so it's definitely useful things and i'm behind i have anniversary gift i have to make up so i'm going to make one of these for my friend adrian 
and she is my sister-in-law and so I'm going to make her one of these sets. She is a equestrian lover and a dog lover. She has a great Dane <laughs> and she's a she's just a pet person like me. We're very much uh, outdoor people have a lot in common and like that and gardening she's just not crafty but she she I know it's under there I know it's under there <laughs> I taught my niece she would send my niece over and say go to your auntie and she's going to teach you how to do all those crafty things and which I did but um we're going to be doing that together I'm going to hog tie her in the future and we're going to sit down and do crafting together She did go to an international convention, <laughs> and she was so proud of herself, and she made up the delegate gifts, and then she sent me a message, and she was showing me the pictures, and she's like, is this good? Would it would it be okay? She asked me first, would it be okay if I, if I matched this up and matched that up and did this and did that? It was so cute. I was really cute. I was so, I told her, see, you do have creative genes. So she said, I must have rubbed off on her somehow through osmosis. <laughs> but they were really cute. They were really cute. I think they were, oh, she did tie clips for the brothers and hair clips for the sisters. It was really cute. Very, very cute. And my daughter, they went, where did they go? They went to Norway, Scandinavia, somewhere over there, I forget. Um... And then my daughter and son-in-law went to the International in Miami for Chinese. And um, they were, their Chinese group were invited for that. So they, we made up um, Florida-themed, cute little tote bags. I got little miniature um, muslin bags, and we stamped Florida on it, and I love you to Florida and back. And then we made... Um, we may, I think we did. I think we did the same thing. We did tie clips and hair clips, and we put them in the little muslin bags. It was so cute, just a treat to do that. I've been to two international conventions in my life. It was in I think 1969 in Atlanta, so I was only like six years old. And then we went to the international in New Orleans, and it was in 1975, six somewhere around there. I think I was like. How old was I? 13, 14, 15, somewhere around there. So anyway, so that was that was really a treat. So I was really happy that my daughter was able to go to one in her adult years. And then my friend, sister-in-law, she goes, her and her husband go to um, internationals back when we could travel and do things like that. Okay, so isn't that pretty? Very nice. So now there's a pocket here and there's a pocket here. And I will make a journal for here, and I'll make a journal for there. So now, let's, and then of course now we have these glued into place. I could put some little somethings in here for her. I don't know what I'll put, but I'll I'll figure out something. And I just love to send her stuff because she's always like, it's beautiful! What do I do with it? <laughs> so I just, I love that. Okay, so now we're going to figure out, I am going to, when I make the flap, okay, so I'll make the flap. But I'm, this just needs something, so I don't know if I'll put the summer holiday. They used to love to go on cruises, so beaching until further notice. That is really cute. I love that, too. That is just perfect. She's not a beach person because she's very, very fair skin. But um, her and my niece, white, they could never tan, burn, burn, burn. Okay, so, all righty, let's see. What do we want to do with the hidden paper clip? All right, so let me move this out of the way. And let's delve into the pack again, because I want to show you how to make the hidden paper clip. It's so super easy. And what do we want to have on the front? Okay. All right, let's see. I'll make it where you can see what I'm folding and doing. This is so pretty. I just love all of these elements on here. You could just cut out sections here, like this whole thing. I could cut this out, or just the window, the hot air balloon, you know, this beautiful marbled look there. But it's not what I want for the 
hidden paper clip. And the sailboats, the sailboat part of it, you know, and this is the whole thing. I don't want that. It needs something. It needs something. All right. Looks like I'm going in the wrong direction. What do we got here? No. Okay. So we're back to that part. Okay. This is this. The opposite of this sailboats. Do I want sailboats? I just don't know. Oh, why couldn't they have had a cruise ship for crying out loud? Okay. Um, you don't take a sailboat on a cruise, people. They didn't. Uh, apparently, when they make these things, they don't ever. They don't. I mean, they're just thinking beach. You know what I'm saying? They're not thinking. Of course, people do. People come to Florida to go to the beach. I mean, what am I saying? Spring break, all that kind of thing. Bike week. You know, too bad I couldn't have folded some of these over. This would have been real cute. Like maybe like this section here and somehow fold it, but that's not going to go. I need to. Okay, so what have I got? Okay, so I have this flowery, flowery part here. Okay, so this is here. Okay. So I have these two. So whatever's going to go in this pocket, I want it to complement this pattern. <clears throat> and the hidden paper clips. So I'm thinking I'm going to make two hidden paper clips, and then I'll make the little journal things to go in here. So which one do we want? I may just have to sacrifice because I have so many of these. Let's see now up here. Okay, this one is really, yeah, this one's nicer. <laughs> it's not one that I would want to sacrifice, but this one back here is just ugly. So this is how you do, this is what you do with your ugly papers. You really just don't, you know, come out of there. Oh, goodness sake. All right. Now, all right, so this is a tri-fold method, like I told you, and we want the height of it to be, okay, we already know that height. All right, so if I do the tri-fold, I might have to trim some of that down. All right, let's just go, and I'm going to go with this direction here, go right in the direction that the, it's already mapped out, so that when you fold it, you know, you're going to proceed it in the right direction. See, these are pretty, this is pretty, this is pretty, this is pretty. I like, you know, I see where the gold is. <laughs> I like that. All right, so let's see. The metallic part of it. I don't need them to be this wide. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look here. All right, so I scored it before at, I believe it was two inches. So let me get the score map because I don't want to score it at the wrong point. And see, even this, this might be okay. Maybe I'll just do it on that side. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's see. If I score it at two inches, and then four inches, and then six inches. Okay, let's do that. So now we'll fold it. So we have this part here, this part here, and then, okay, perfect. Okay, see, now I can take this, and this can be here, okay, or I could flip it around and have it on the palm tree side. So whichever side I am finally going to go with, which maybe I'm thinking, or I could do it the opposite, and I can fold it this way, and I can have the roses, which I think I'm going to go with the roses. I like the look of the roses. It looks really pretty. And now what I'm thinking is I might go ahead and just fold this over to give it a finished look instead of having that... Um, and then, because that could be, this can be glued here, so this would glue here, and, but you know what, look at how thick that's making that, yeah, I don't need it to be that thick, what am I doing, no, I don't, I don't need this panel part here, I can do this here, okay, so you want your pocket, because we have, remember we had the little, 
journal thing going in here. All right, before I stitched it here, and then, okay, you want your paper clip. So this is the part. Okay, so this whole part here, I don't need this. All right, so this is the part. I can trim this off. That's why it was looking too thick. I said, wait a minute, something's not right here. Okay, so now, okay, the paper clip will go here. So now it will be just flush. And then, you know, your paper clip doesn't have to be pushed all the way down. So that would go there. Get my handy dandy paper clip out. And you want the short side be on the outside and the long side on the inside. Don't ask me why, but that's what everybody always says, so that's what I do. Okay, so then you take this like this, and then that will slide on there like that, you see? And then, of course, that will be glued into place. This will be stitched into place. And then the pocket will be here. So, okay, all of this is going to be glued. So I will put glue all through here. Okay, then this is folded over, this is stitched, and then when I fold this over, now this is going to all be glued, and then I stitched it through here on the machine. But you stitch this first, then you glue it, and you only glue it like from here up, and then when you fold it over, now I can take it to the machine and stitch it all the way through again, which it kind of was like, why did I, why am I doing that? Why can't I just wait? And because she stitched it first and then she folded, glued it, folded over and stitched. I said, no, I think I'm going to do it that way. I think I'm going to glue it first. Let's try that. And then, I mean, hey, it's like you won't know until you try. Okay, put that back down there. So let's do this. Let's glue it all first. And we know we're going to leave. Okay, I'm going to come right here. I'm just going to come right here. You want to get all around this paper clip really good in the paper clip because you do not want that coming off and coming out. So when they're pulling it up and down, then it's going to stay in place. Okay. So now this folds over here. And then we put it underneath of our wax paper and we can really push. And so if any of that glue decides to ooze out, that'll be okay. And let's see, get that straight. Come in here, come in here, look around here. All right, so while this is drying, we'll make our little notepad that's going to go in the center. Okay. Put this over here, wipe this off, get some glue oozed out as I knew it would. All right, so now we set this over, put this back into the drawer. Now, I happen to have a whole little bag of paper. Okay, this is cardstock. Okay, this is not the paper. All right, so I need, I need the paper, not the cardstock. So we'll put you back and over here is the paper. Okay, so here's papers. I have one, two, three, and it doesn't, you know, you don't, you don't need to make, we're going to be making journals for here, so we don't need to do that. Okay, so here, here's some more. Okay, so let's just go, and again, remembering I'm going to use that decorative stapler, and it only allows me to have four sheets of paper. So one, two, three, four, because I did try it with five. Oh, I've got that folded for, for something. All right, let's see. So let's just stay with this, and then, okay, now, now I can come over here, see, this is where this comes in now. All right, now I can take the palm tree and cut it down, because we want it to go in here, see, perfect, perfect, okay. But also, we're making a little journal, don't forget, that's going to fit into this pocket. So it needs to be even smaller. Okay, so that's too small. Right. That's too wide, but we're going to trim it down. Okay, I like that. Okay, so this is perfect. And I think what I'll do is, yes, now I'll use the sailboat side. And that will go in here. 
All right, so it just needs a wee bit trimmed off of it, and then we'll make it fit in that. All right, very good. And then we'll save this, and we'll put papers here, and that will go into this pocket here. So we'll save that, put that over to the sides. We know what we're doing and where everything is going to go. And then I will still, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the gratitude. We'll see. I'm keeping everything in arm's reach today. Just have to get up and down. All right. Let's trim off the end first. Eh, I could do that later. Let's go with here. All right, so I just need a little bit. Let's see. That looks to be about like the right. Perfect. See, now this is another perfect little journaling. I don't know. If that's that, that's going to go. Okay, so now, and we know we're going to have a quarter inch seam allowance down here. So this is going to be too long, but that's okay. So we'll just trim that up. And then this one, let's see, what do we have? Digging around. Okay, maybe I'll do this one. Just for a little piece of something or another. I may, you know what I'm thinking, I might make just cute little tags like this and then trim off these corners. Let's see. That looks like a good idea for this. Okay, so what I do is I just take it right below Hopefully, I'll be able to get two. Let's see how far does that go. Okay. And then what I do is I, because this is a directional, I need it going in the right direction. So then I just come in here, and then I have to play around with it. Okay. Just a little bit more. Oh, it's caught on the... All right, let's see. Nope, it's wanting to... Turn on me. Ah. A little tricky, but you just work with it. Be patient, and it'll work. It will work. And you know what this would be good for? A little too thin, but yeah. I was thinking a specimen card, but no. Okay, so let's see. So this is going to go here. All right. And then I'm going to get the, I'm not going to use the decorative stapler on this one. I'm just going to use a regular stapler. I could use an eyelet, but let's just go with it like this. Lining it up. Just made it. Just made it. Okay, and now I can come in here and trim around that. Okay, so now it matches that up. Trim this off here. Okay, and then we have the tag there with journaling. tag 
there with journaling. Okay. Work can go down here or here. Anyway, just getting it all put together. I have one of those three tiered carts that I bought at Michael's on sale. And so that's, whoo, whoo, whoo. that one didn't come out too good. Oh, poo. Well, it just, it just barely, it did, it just does make it. So, all right. Got to line that up a little bit better next time. Okay, but it's there. It's holding. Not a problem. All right, so now we're going to take this to the machine. And I shall be right back. Okay. So here we are. Now we're going to add an embellishment to the front of, and it's going to be, you are amazing. But the first thing I'm going to do is glue it to the cardstock. Going to ink around it. Just need to trim it a little bit. Perfect. And we're not going to worry about rounding the corners. We're going to leave it just like this. Another anniversary gift. Now this one is going to be perfect for one of our friends. who They usually took their anniversaries to the beach. And I don't know what they're going to do this year, if they're doing the same thing. But so this beachy theme is going to be perfect. And they're right here in Florida. Of course, so is my sister-in-law. But... I will figure out what I'm going to do for her, but this one I know is going to go to our friend Diane and Al. My daughter was just asking me, <clears throat> so I said, you know what, I will give this to her, and I know a little crooked, but that's okay. Um, now where did I put the, oh. You did not go there. You were supposed to go in here. Come back. Okay, so let's see how far I can actually get that. Okay, so that's how far that can go there. Now, do I want it to be sticking up? Let's just see. <coughs> okay, paper clip, grab hold. It's not wanting to grab hold, of course. Of course. There we go. Okay, now. Cute. Cute, cute. I like it. I like it with that sticking out. That's fine. I think it looks perfectly, perfectly good. All right, now, if I have this here, see, that could go in front, or it could be underneath. And then this goes in front here. And, of course, she'll know what to do with it because she is a very crafty person. And she will love it. So I will make 
maybe a his and her side. Just thought about that. Okay, so now the flap will go on here, and it will be exactly like I showed you on the other one. So you already know how that one turned out. So I will just finish it up and not do that with you now on camera, but I'll put the flap on this one, put a beautiful tie on it as well. And then, so when you close it now, you're, you see you're getting the bulk there, but that's okay. And then I'll make two journals, a his and her journal. That's what I'll do here is it'll be a, a his and her journal. And um, then the hidden paper clips with the notes put two more little tags in each corner there. Maybe I'll put something behind here. So I think I'll do gratitude journals because they were talking about that one day. Uh, so our service group on a Sunday, he was taking the group out. So he was mentioning all about gratitude. And I thought, how cool is that? I didn't know he was even knew anything about that. <clears throat> Very good. There you go. So thank you for joining me today. You know how to make the hidden paper clips. You know how to make this beautiful, cute little journal that can be used as happy mail. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to pick up one of my cute little journals, and I'm thinking I'm going to start making these and putting them with the journal so you can purchase these by themselves or as a pack in my Etsy shop. And if you want me to do any theme for you for an anniversary gift, baptism gift, whatever, uh, all occasion type of thing, non-holiday, um, then just head on over to my Etsy shop. You'll find the link in the comments below. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, head on over to the Facebook group where I am moderator with my friend Linda Coker. And I hope you have a great day and keep creating in the sunshine. Bye-bye.